Folks, I tell you, God has called me to a very special people in a special land. The people of Peru are hungry for the story of Jesus. When they hear the stories of his healing miracles, they're ready to believe. And when they hear how he died for their sins and, and rose again from the dead, they're quick to ask him into their hearts. We must continue our missionary work among these people. If we don't give them an opportunity to hear about our Lord, they'll perish in their sins and spend an eternity without God. I need your help to carry on this work of God. Your offerings are essential to the success of our work. Your liberal giving will be repaid by God. I can't pay you back. And the people of Peru can't pay you back. But God can supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. And now, I make my most important request. We're beginning an orphanage in Lima, the capital city of Peru. And I'll need a qualified Christian woman to be its headmistress. If God should speak to any of you about this, please speak to me about him before I leave town next Sunday. Thanks. Preachers are all the same. What are you talking about, Lefty? Oh, he thinks they're only out to get his money. Well, that's the truth. But I didn't let him get to me. I gave a penny, and that's it. Well, then I reckon you're going to get about a penny's worth of blessings. He didn't listen to what the man said, Lefty. He said God would pay us back from his riches in heaven. He's got streets of gold. Well, I believe the missionaries got pockets lined with gold. I just don't think a fellow that doesn't work ought to ask people who do work for their money. Lefty, you think the missionary doesn't work? He puts in more hours than all the rest of us put together. Now, he may not cut hair or hammer out a pair of horseshoes or chase outlaws across the country, but he works to build men's souls. His work is the kind of stuff that causes a lazy drunkard to be a productive farmer. Lefty, he calls his daddies to come home at night instead of drinking and gambling away the money in some old saloon. He works, but on the things that matter most. I still say you boys got suckered out of your money. You don't know he does all the things that he says he does. Lord, you know I'll do anything you ask me to do. If you want me to run that orphan's home, tell me by your Holy Spirit. That lefty's a tight wad. He, he probably got the first dollar he ever made. When he got to talking bad about that missionary, I just wanted to punch him right in the nose. Easy, boys. Y'all won't win lefty over by fighting with him. You need to pray that God will open up his understanding. Yeah, I'd like to open up his understanding. I'd start with an educational right cross. Listen, you boys are the ones that need to relax a little bit. When's the last time you've been fishing? Hey, Nicodemus, that's a good idea. I love to catch fish and then just eat them up. Well, come on. Let's go get the stuff.
Let's go. Fish your bite and I can feel it. I don't have any fish poles. I forgot last time I went fishing, I broke both of them. How about uh, bait and hooks? Well, I've been looking for my hooks and fish line, but I can't find any. Well, we can dig bait when we get there. You got a shovel? Nope, I broke it too. You broke your poles and your shovel? Not on the same day. Well, we gotta get supplies anyway. Let's see if Lana won't open up the store just long enough so we can get some stuff. This fishing business is getting expensive. Oh, yeah. Bella really needs to take care of his fishing equipment if he wants to keep it a while. Hey, Lana. Reckon you could open up the store for just a few minutes. Me and Elmer here is going fishing. We need some supplies. Sure, come on in. We'll need a few things. Let's see what we're gonna need. Pole hooks, fishing line, a shovel, a bucket, uh, bread, jelly, bacon, oh, and a stool. This fishing trip's gonna cost us a lot more than I thought it was. Thank God the fish are free. Well, whose bill shall I put it on? They'll just split it right down the middle. Six hundred. Seven hundred. Eight hundred. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hundred and twelve dollars. That is, you are a rich man. We ain't even left town yet. Look at them equipment will wear out from time to time. Besides, we can use this later on. Well, nevertheless, this is a considerable cash outlay that I had not planned on. Hey, what are you boys fussing about? Oh, we're going fishing and it's costing us a lot of money. Mind if I come along? Oh, I guess so, but you're going to have to pay your part of the expenses. How much? $24 split three ways. That's better, ain't it? Eight, yeah. You going to go or not? Believe I will. Let me change clothes. Well, you can't wear that. And hurry up. We ain't taking no pretty boy with us. <laughs> Lord, I'll go to Peru, but you'll have to send someone to buy my store. I just can't pack up and go to a strange country with no money. Lord, I remember when I was a little girl, back in Granddaddy's church when the missionary came. I remember that Sunday as he preached. In Matthew 28, Jesus tells us, to go into all the world and preach the gospel, making disciples of all nations. And I know in my heart that there is some person in this congregation the Lord is dealing with today about answering his call to the mission field. Could it be you, sir? Could it be you, ma'am? And how about you, young lady? If you hear his call, don't resist him. For when God calls you, He's able to provide the way for you to walk. Lord, I'll do what you want me to do. Just guide me. And don't let me make a mistake. Come in. Lana. Come on in. You heard the missionary this morning? Oh, yes, I did. Bill, I'm the one to go run that orphanage in Lima. Let us sit down. If God was calling you to go to Peru to run that orphanage, I'd be the first one to help you to go. 
I've heard from God. I know it in my heart. And you can't talk me out of it. Man, I'm not trying to talk you out of it. All I'm trying to say is don't let your emotions make your decisions. Bill, I've never told anyone this. When I was a little girl, one Sunday in church, a missionary passed through. And I knew in my heart that one day I'd go to the mission field. It seemed like that would never come to pass. I came here to take over the store when my father passed away. And I've been here ever since. I almost forgot the call until this morning. I'd hate to see you go. Your prayers are what brought me to this town. Lena, all I ask is this, is that you wait a day or two to make sure. If it's God's will for you to go to Peru today, it'll be God's will for you to go to Peru tomorrow. Just don't make your decisions based on your emotions. Make sure it's God that's calling you to go. I understand. And I'll take your advice. All right. Thanks. I'm going to dig us up some worms. I cannot believe how much it costs to go fishing. Especially since the fish are free. I mean, just think what it would cost if we had to pay for the fish. Howdy, boys. Going to do some fishing, are you? Yes, sir. We're aiming to. Good, good. Fish as long as you like. We're planning to. Yeah. Just be sure and stop by the house on your way out and uh, pay up. Pay up? Uh, fishing rights. Fish on my land, you got to pay a dollar a day. A dollar a day? Don't pay a dollar a day to fish here. I ain't never done it before. That's right, mister. Well, I've been fishing here for years, and I ain't never had to pay for it. No, that's because old man Simpson owned it back then. I just bought it from him, and I guess I'm the new owner. You see that sign over there? Well, good luck. Hope you catch a big one. I ain't gonna pay a dollar to fish here. Boys, this here's the best fishing hole in these parts. We already bought all our gear. I figure we ought to just pay the old man and get started. He's right. Well, I always thought it didn't cost much to go fishing. Boy, was I wrong. What is it, Trudy? Well, I've come to ask your opinion about something, and I really want you to tell me the truth. I've decided I'm going to close the cafe. It's not something that I wanted to do, but I haven't made any money in three months, and I've got to find another kind of work. Have you ever worked in a general store? Well, my folks ran a store in Coffeeville the whole time I was growing up. But I hadn't done that kind of work in a long time. But I bet I could pick it up if you need the help. Trudy, I want you to really think about what you've just said. Can you come to the store tomorrow? Sure, I can come tomorrow afternoon. That would be great. I may just have a big surprise for you. Beats all I've ever seen. Not one fish, not even a little bitty one. I've been fishing here for 10 years, and I've always caught a mess of fish. Look now, boys, we got company. Morning, boys. Morning. Hey, did you catch anything? Must have. You fished all night. We didn't catch a thing. <laughs> well, I'm surprised to hear that. There's a fellow in here old, last week caught six dozen of the finest bass you ever saw. Maybe he caught them all. <laughs> Maybe he did. 
Well, let's see. I, I guess that'll be six dollars. Six dollars? That's right. A dollar a piece for yesterday and a dollar a piece for today. Well, we didn't fish today. Well, you boys fished way past midnight, and I reckon you might as well stay on and fish the rest of the day since you got to pay for it. I reckon you're right. Much obliged, boys. Thank you. It ain't right. I don't like paying for fish. Fish ought to be free. You know, you shouldn't charge for what God did anyway. Well, now, Lefty, that man owns this pond, all this land, keeps it up, pays taxes on it. I reckon he can charge for fishing if he wants to. Maybe, but I don't like it. You know, I love to catch fish and just eat them up. Let me ask you something. You think Lana should have charged us for all these supplies? Well, of course she should have. She's got to pay her bills like the rest of us do. But Lana didn't create the pig that gave us this bacon. God did. Hey, I love to eat bacon, too. You know, Lana had her part to play in all this because she had to pay for the pig to be butchered and be salted so she could sell it in her store. See there? Even though God created the pig, it costs Lana money to get us a bacon. What are you getting at? Well, the gospel's free, but it costs men money to travel so they can tell the story. You're talking about that missionary, aren't you? You ain't getting another penny of my money. Go on fishing. Done paid for it. He's something else, ain't he? <laughs> Marshall? Marshall! Marshall Gunner, are you here? Come in. Good morning. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. Oh, no, it's all right. Bill, I've got the answer. Yeah, I know. You do? I stayed up to 4 o'clock this morning praying about your decision. And? Must live la que aprendes espanol. What? You better learn how to speak Spanish. Oh! Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for answering my prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, excuse me. I'll come back later. Oh, no. No, I was just finishing. Come on in. My name's Lana Osborne. And I've come to ask about the position at the orphanage in Peru. Well, have a seat, Miss Osborne. Thank you. I believe God wants me to come and take the job. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, you know it'll be a difficult assignment. I'm ready. I've known I was supposed to do this since I was a young girl. Well, uh, you know, the job doesn't pay anything. You'll have to raise your own support. I've already thought about it. I believe I can sell my store. My, you are committed. I am. There's one more thing you need to know about. Steamship passage is quite expensive. How much? $500. Well, if God has truly called me, then he'll provide a way for me to go. Miss Osborne, I believe God is calling you to Peru. Can we pray? Oh, yes. Ooh, boys, this here's going to be the best tasting fish we've ever had. Well, how do you know? Well, you figure we got $24 overhead, all in fishing fees. These fish cost us six dollars a piece. I'm in the wrong business. I can't believe I just paid ten dollars for roughly a fish and two thirds. <laughs> now, Lefty, ain't you something? What? Here you give ten dollars for a few fish, and you won't give but one cent for the soul of a man.
Did you let these find anything? Not today, Nana. Thank you. Lana? Trudy, I didn't even notice you came in. Well, have you decided anything yet? Yes. Yes, I have. I want you to buy my store, Trudy. Buy your store? I, I can't buy your store. I don't have that kind of money. Besides, what are you going to do? I'm going to go to Peru. I'm going to run an orphanage. That's why you have to buy the store. The money you pay me each month will be my support. You're not joking, are you? Absolutely not. Now, I've done some figuring. Look here. This is what the store's worth. And this is what you can send me each month. And this is what can be yours to keep. <sighs> This is the work of the Lord. Have we got a deal? <laughs> we got a deal. <laughs> now, all I have now is the steamship passage. Get your pocketbooks out, boys. It's time to divvy up some more money. I ain't spending another penny on this fishing trip. You will if you expect to eat any fish. Oh, he's stingy, Elmer. Don't even talk to him. Miss Lana, we need some cornmeal. We gotta fry us up a mess of six dollar fish. Six dollar fish? It's a long story. No, oh, please don't ask. Well, you boys are talking to the wrong person. I just sold the store to Trudy. What? What are you going to do? I'm going to Peru. I'm going to run an orphanage. Let me guess. For the missionary? God. You may be seated. We have some very exciting news to share with you about our missionary, Brother Andrews. But I'm not going to be the one to tell you all that exciting news. I'm going to let Brother Andrews share with you himself. So, Brother Andrews, come on up here. Thank you, Pastor Evans. Well, as you all know, I've been seeking the Lord this week about finding the right person for our orphanage in Lima, Peru. Praise God. The Lord has answered my prayer with someone from this very congregation. In case you haven't heard, I'm thrilled to announce that Miss Lana Osborne will be joining our work in Lima. I'm confident that she'll do a great job. You better bet she will. Miss Lana, come on up here. You may not know this about Miss Lana, but she is so committed to this calling that she borrowed $500 for her steamship passage. Miss Lana's made a lot of great sacrifice for this position. What's eating it, Lefty? All this whole mission's been, it's just been more than take. Lena, why don't you just share with us how God worked all this out for you? Well, you know, God is so good. I've known that I've had a call on my life to go to the mission field since I was just a little girl. But it didn't look like it would work out for me to go. But then, last week when I heard Brother Andrews share the need for a woman to go to run the orphanage in Lima, I knew in my heart that this was my opportunity. But I didn't know how God was going to work everything out. I don't know if I'm going to get through this. Miss Trudy, please come and help me tell this. Now, folks, 
I want you all to know that this is God. He has worked out a way for me to buy Miss Lana's store. And there's a part for you in it, too. As you continue to patronize her store, it's going to help support her in the mission field. Each month, I'll be sending her payments, and that will be her support. And the only trouble is, I just can't see you go. I just want you to know how much I love you. I love you too, Trudy. And I'll be praying for you every day. Thank you. I love all you folks. You've just been like family to me. We all love you too, Lana. We thank God for your obedience. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Don't borrow the money for that steamship passage. There's enough in there to take care of it and then some. Well, Lefty, I can't take this. Oh, yes, you can. I want you to take it. I want to be a part of this. The book of Psalms tells us that if we delight ourselves in the Lord, He will give us the desires of our hearts. That means that God not only gives you what you want, but He creates the desire in you to want the right thing. God wants only the very best for you. So when you trust Him and serve Him and purpose to obey Him, you're going to get to fulfill your heart's desire. Miss Lana is going to the mission field, not because she has to, because she wants to. And I'm going to tell you it's going to be something she's really going to enjoy because it's what God has called her to do. Whenever any person answers God's call, it's not a matter of giving up a good life or having to sacrifice forever and never enjoying anything. True, there may be hard work and sacrifice, but when we answer God's call, we can never be happier. No matter what it is He tells you to do, remember this, you're always going to be the happiest when you're doing what God asks of you.